So this happened a few months ago. I'm 26. I was at JFK Airport in New York with five friends. All of us were about to fly down to Florida to spend the week in a beach house. We had a few more minutes to kill in the airport before we would board our flight, and I really had to go to the bathroom all of a sudden. I was baffled to see a line out the door for the bathroom. I noticed a janitor walking by, so I asked her if there was another bathroom nearby that wouldn't be so crowded. She left and told me she shouldn't really be telling people but there was another bathroom past the door she was pointing at, down a narrow flight of stairs and to the left. I thanked her because she was extremely nice and followed the direction she gave me. Sure enough, behind that door that no one would think to open was a small stairway that led down to a really poorly lit, skinny hallway. It was so narrow that if two people were to pass by each other, one person would have to stand against the wall to make room. I found the bathroom right away. The door was extremely heavy and hard to push. Also the lights were on inside of the bathroom and it was filthy in there. It was evident that nobody ever really came in there to clean. Now this is a little embarrassing to mention, but when I go to the bathroom in public places I always try to make sure nobody else is around to possibly hear me going. So after checking the stall to see that it was unoccupied, I went back into the hallway for a second to take a look down both directions. To the left, there was somebody standing at the end of the hall, in a dark, unlit section of the hallway. It was a disturbing sight to say the least. All I could do was awkwardly pull my head back into the bathroom and try to pretend we didn't see each other. I went into the stall and just stood there biting my fingers for a minute, dreading the thought of that door opening. And of course, it did. I saw the man's black shoes under the stall door as he walked to the stall next to mine. He shut the door and then there was silence. No sound of the man unzipping his fly or sitting down, nothing. I realized I didn't really have to go anymore and went to unlock the stall door. That's when I looked up and saw the man's head peering over the stall looking at me. I nearly had a heart attack as my screams bounced off the walls of the tiny bathroom. I ran back up those damn steps and out that door and then casually walked back over to my friends. I was breathing heavily but nobody seemed to notice. I didn't tell anyone just because it was embarrassing and I didn't want my friends to make fun of me in any way. I know, I guess that seems stupid now. We went on to have our Florida vacation and all had a good time. Of course, the thought of that creepy man haunted me every night that week.